My name is Margaret Mills. I'm 42 years old and I live in Jersey Channel Islands. And my story is that basically I found a lump on the right hand side of my breast. And I had gone to my local practitioner who told me or sent me to um, have a mammogram. When I had my mammogram, they said that could I come in? They'd like to discuss. But at that point I knew it wasn't good news. This is of course where we at Medics stepped in and said, okay, we're gonna take over now, Margaret Mills. We're gonna take a look at everything that's happened and we'll sort of help you make the decisions that you need to make at this time. And within a day or two of her approaching us, we had referred her case on to one of our oncologists. We referred her very quickly as well for a PET CT, which is a, what we, we do for staging, so we, to see if it's spread anywhere else, and we referred her for an MRI of both breasts. Um, and luckily, the, um, the results showed that it was isolated to one breast and that she wouldn't need chemotherapy before the operation. And then came the decision of what surgery we would do, whether she would have a lumpectomy, which is where you remove the lump, or whether she would have a mastectomy. I remember she told me that you know, that it was a difficult decision, but she had to take care of her family. She had a family, she had a beautiful daughter, and she wanted to be there for her. I had to go and have a mastectomy um, to take the right breast off. And thereafter, um, I was finished. I was done and dusted, and I was back to work the following week. After the surgery was done, I continued to be in contact with Margaret Mills and discuss how she was recovering, how the wound was healing, and where to go from now. Jessica led me all the way. She was specialising in what she did, and I put my life in her hands. There is a test that's not available everywhere, but we made sure that she was going to have it. It's called an oncotype. It's a genetic test for the tumor cells, and this will determine the likelihood of this cancer coming back. The results came back as showing that she had a low chance of recurrence um, and relatively good prognosis. So she started taking tamoxifen, which is a hormonal treatment. She can imagine is a lot less traumatic than, take, than chemotherapy or radiotherapy. They literally took over my life and they sorted me out, basically. I'm not getting emotional. I don't, I'm not emotional. <laughs> I never even cried when I got diagnosed. Margaret really was a lovely lady, and I enjoyed every conversation that I had with her because of her strength. And I do feel honored that she allowed me to be a part of that. A woman going through this needs to have someone she can talk to about it. You wouldn't normally get that personal service. You don't, you wouldn't normally have somebody by your side. You'd always be sitting at home wondering, where am I going to be next week? How is my treatment going to work? Whereas if I ever had any of the questions, I'd just phone medics. Um, essentially, the most important thing is that the patient um, gets the right care. And at the end of my story, I ended up taking a little small tablet with no chemotherapy, no radiotherapy, so I believe I'm the luckiest person in the world.